Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are. We are within minutes of the full moon, maybe 15 minutes of the exact point, maybe 20 minutes, I'm not sure. And today I come to you from Bali, from uh, in front of my altar. And this is the altar that I put together for uh, the um, full moon ceremony that I did last night. So, this morning I may spend a little bit more time speaking because I feel like there's an important message right now coming through and so I want to just do that thing I do where I catch the thread and then I'll begin. So give me a moment here and then I'll begin with uh, this full moon message. So on this day, night, morning, wherever you are in the world, the moon is full and it's full in the sign of Virgo. And what that means is that the sun is reflecting its light fully on the moon and the sun right now is in Pisces. So we have the sun in Pisces and we have the full moon in Virgo. So the energy for this one of the energies is spiritual service. Pisces is the sign of spiritual. It's the sign of the connection with the divine, of surrender back to source energy and of sacred service, of, of sacredness. Virgo is the sign of service, of humility and humbly serving those who we are here to serve. Now, those are simplistic definitions, but I want to stay with this theme of sacred service. And I'm going to share with you a little personal backstory for me that feels kind of vulnerable to share with you, actually, but it feels contextually important because what I want to build on here is about, what I want to build on here is a calling and invitation for you to listen to whatever that sacred calling is for you. Because of the times we are in, it's essential that all hands and hearts are on deck in sacred service to an awakening on the planet so that we can reclaim and remember our ultimate unity, our divinity, and our sovereignty as humans, as spirits embodied in human form on this planet. It is time for us to say no to the warring, the hate, and the separation, and yes to the truth of who we are, which is one family, one planet. And that means that all of us who are called to sacred service, however great or small, are being called right now, right now, in this full moon in Virgo, to that sacred service. So I want to share with you again my little backstory here. I have been in hiding for a long time. I have been in hiding as a spiritual teacher because there have been so many spiritual teachers who have abused their power, including I'm sure myself in other incarnations. And so I've been really afraid to step into the role of teacher. I've been busy gathering knowledge and in secret mentoring people here and there. My family knows who I am, the, those closest to me, my friends. But I've also been attacked sometimes in this life for abusing power. And it wasn't true. <laughs> it wasn't true attacked by people projecting stuff. So I've had a lot of reason to hide and hide I've done. But uh, a little more than a year ago, I went to a conference that was a catalyst for me because there I saw many young women walking the path of the priestess without mentorship or guidance. <laughs> and I have been 
studying and training and living secretly as a priestess of the goddess for decades. And it was like the clarion call for me to stop hiding. So for 13 months, and I didn't even realize it at the time, for 13 months, I set forth to heal myself and to dedicate myself and to rededicate myself to the path that began for me in my very early 20s. And uh, because of that, I had the, um, you know, things came forward because I committed to something. So over the course of 13 months, every, almost every day, I dedicated myself to the path of the priestess. And I cleared my chakras every day. And I meditated every day. And I prayed every day. And I called light into my body every day. And I set altars again. And I lit candles again. And I did lunar uh, ceremonies and solar ceremonies again. And I invited women to my house. And I held ceremonies again. And I began to reclaim who I really was. And on the 14th month, after 13 months, on the 14th new moon, it was the solar, uh, it was the eclipse that happened uh, at the beginning of February. And I danced under the moonlight, watching that full eclipse, that full lunar eclipse er for an hour. And then I did my first Facebook Live. And after that, I hosted a retreat for Empowered Feminine Leadership in Thailand. And on the new moon, we danced and we danced and we danced. And we steamed and we sweat and we laughed and we danced. And now on this full moon, before this altar, here on the island of the gods of Bali, I danced again. And I realized all that had unfolded for me in the past 13 and then 14 months. So, <laughs> so that's my story of stepping into sacred service and much has come of that and much more service is yet to come. And this is one of those services. The little tidbits, the little sharings, the little thoughts for the day, the little invitations for anyone who wishes to listen to assist you, to assist those who are called to it, to step into your own sacred reclaiming of your sovereign personal power as a divine being in form. So now, today's cards. I say cards because three cards jumped out of the deck this morning when I pulled to uh, see what would be a theme we could talk about. So we know the theme is sacred service, and that comes from the astrological full moon that we are not right now in the power of. But then these three cards came, so I'm gonna talk about those. So the first card is the nine of earth, and the word is ripeness. We are ripe, sisters and brothers. We are ripe for a change. Many, many of us are waking up and looking at the news, which isn't even news, it's, it's bullshit spin, and saying it's time seriously for change. And it's not gonna happen by fighting what's out there. It's gonna happen right in here. We are ripe to awaken and remember who we are. We are ripe to reclaim our own personal sovereignty and power. It is time. And then the next card is the six of air, which is called the burden. And you can see there's a, a man here looking completely exhausted, climbing up this stark mountain of rock. On his shoulders, he's carrying this well-dressed authority who's pointing in a direction. But it doesn't seem to be very productive, does it? This authority looking really good and relaxed is just riding this poor beast of burden who's climbing a mountain. To what end? And yet on top there's the rooster chiming in the wake-up call to wake up, to call us to awaken, it, awaken. It is a burden to continue to listen to the bullshit spin of the supposed self-proclaimed authorities who are leading us to a mountain of nothing, 
a mountain of doom. Listen instead to the rooster who calls us to awaken to the truth of who we really are. We don't have to carry these well-heeled leaders who are only leading by riding our backs to serve themselves. It's time to awaken and reclaim our own sovereignty and authority. And then the final card, new vision. This is a major arcana card and it's often called the tower in a traditional tarot deck. And the tower strikes fear in the hearts of those who have been abusing their power to rise to the top. Because when the tower crumbles, only when the tower crumbles can the phoenix emerge, can a new vision emerge. And you can see this beautiful image here of this divine being dancing, dancing, rising up from this burdened being saying, no more, I will dance into the unity of my being, my spirit in form and rise like the phoenix from the ashes of the old and reclaim and remember who I am and dance the new vision of life of divinity in form, of one family, one planet, the new vision of this earth. And so on this full moon, I am called to call anyone who watches this to remember that you are ripe. You are ripe for the change. You are ripe to reclaim and remember your true divine nature. It is time to shed, to sh shrug off the burden of the bullshit of the mainstream controllers who ha do not have your best interest at heart. And listen instead to the rooster who calls your awakening. And dance. Brothers and sisters, dance your new vision into being. We are here to awaken and remember. We are the family of light here to call, recall, reclaim, and remember the truth of who we are and to step into our sacred service and help those who are still asleep. And so if you are resonating with this, I am talking to you. And if you are curious and there's some little small stirring in you that this sounds wild and crazy and impossible, but oh, so sweet, I'm talking to you. And if this sounds like the musings of a crazy lady, wild woman, witch, well, on some level, I'm still talking to you. I offer this message with so much love. With so much love, I offer this to you. Awaken, sisters and brothers. Hold that sweet new vision, that wild, crazy vision in your heart because it is time. And we are here to bring in the change. With much love and bright blessings from the island of the gods, Bali. Mwah.